let's head to the markets now and uh, look at intraday. And we have joining us for that conversation, uh, Ambrose Omodion. Ambrose Omodion is the Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting Limited. Good afternoon, Ambrose. Good to have you on the show. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Great. So how's the market looking intraday? Yeah, the market is still positive at this hour. I'll tell you that after the four days we are we're seeing an investor you know, entering back at the lower price because the market is about buy low and sell high. For me, it's a good one. But we can't say yes, the market is there now. But the market is trying to recover. And from next week, as we expect to see more corporate earnings, that will give the market the boost perspective. But don't forget that at this time, investors also are trying to reassess the opportunity in the physical market as a result of where. Uh, no higher yield was seen so after the last uh, option on Wednesday. That is it there. But I believe that when inflation figure hit the market by next week, that will give a clear direction where those fixed income players should be. Because if inflation goes as high as 30, and you are rejoicing that you are having 19% yield for one year, you see whether you are in a safer hand. Because when inflation is going on, that means you are still having a real negative you know, return. That's why people at are wise are looking at how they can marry. So the dividend season and the capital position in this short term because if you are waiting for one year to get 19 percent and i can get 20 percent even 35 percent within less than you know two weeks or a month that is better for me than i'm waiting for that's why the players should be for parking you know sector because they are the major players in the in the money market for me for design investors as much trader, the capacity of market looking back to buy at the low price ahead of what yeah, so Ambrose, um, we were celebrating two days ago after the auction on Wednesday, obviously, uh, the hike in the yields, 19%. But by close of market yesterday, we learned it had dropped to 16%. Do you see Ooh. these investors <laughs> running back to the equities markets with this, you know, of course, the downward turn of, of yields? Yeah, actually, market timing is very, very important when it comes to investing. Like I said earlier, if you are waiting for current support day to make a you know, 19% or not drop to 60%, and I can have dividend yield from a company 10% in less than because I tell you, most of the companies that have the results in the month of February and March, before the end of April, most of them have done their work, their AGM, they have paid you your dividend. And also, if the market continues to recover and also add to your capital position, you'll be better off. I believe that people are thinking where to put their money, is it where they have higher risk or where they have less risk? Because the attractive in the physical market is the you know, low low risk. But why do that invest in equity and take a calculated risk to make higher return? Mm. So um, uh, today is Friday. How do you see the market closing and then heading into next week? Do you see it getting the same attention it got this week? I think there's another auction upper week in the next two weeks. But for next well, week, what do you see? Yeah. Two weeks time. For me, yeah, this time that pull back to sustain. And also, we expect that the early filers of the corporate end of the market are from next week. With the performance and also the corporate action will determine how you know, fast it can recover. But I believe that today is a sign that market is also recovering. If the trend continues next week, that will be good. But I believe that market will feed on the earnings that we're expecting. And also, inflation figure that will come by next week also open the eyes of those in the income market and those also that are equity. We will be a better you know, instrument or window to put your money. It depends on your own investment objective, but I believe that for those that are not as big as banks, the banks play more on what on the money market. We also try and see where they can put their money for short-term return. How much? How much chance do um, individual investors have in this? I, I know you've been talking more about institutional investors. Yeah, the why is it, sure banks, banks are going to have big money, but for people like me and you that are retail investor, you know why you are in the market. If you are, you know, dividend investor. This pullback is opportunity for you to come back to the market. If you trade that, this pullback is opportunity for you to come to the market because you have more money, doesn't mean that you won't take you no know, wise investment decision. Now that price has pulled back after seeing a kind of a uh, you know, fear of uh, not missing out that put the market in January to almost uh, 40% in that month alone, but seeing correction to put opportunity for new entrants, those that know what they are in the market, you know, that have good goods and also trade plans to come back to the market, let the go guide them and not trade their plans. To also make money. That's why the market is oscillating. Because oscillation is the beauty of market. Anywhere in the world, that is the market dynamics. We buy low, we sell high. Profit taking is opportunity for price to come low, we buy. This dynamics in the market will continue, whether in the mature market or our market. That trend will be there. All right, Ambrose from Audio. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us and observations from the markets. Thanks for having me.